So one of the things that I've got here, for example, if I remove this and put this on the kick drum, just play this kick back. The first thing that I've got is a bass cut. Then we've got EQ. We can add a bit of high end. We can add a bit of bit of low. We've got the filter is set up. We've got the drive to the filter. So we can overdrive the filter. Different types of filter as well. You know, that's I think that's the band pass. Yeah, uh, the resonance obviously it's it's, it's all self-explanatory really. Overdrive, you know, we've got you know we can add overdrive. Uh, the compressor settings here can compress things and um, got mid and side and gain because I quite often use gain um, as a, uh, for, a for automation for levels. Uh, during a track, if I'm fading something, especially if it's not uh, audio, and I'm if I'm not fading it from zero, then you need to use something to fade it. And a lot of people use the faders on the mixer to to fade things, but I don't. I use gain. Uh, you can use anything really that has uh, an alternate volume control to. Uh, the, the the faders on the mixer, um, but I prefer to use the gain because it's made by Ableton. It's very very low headroom, um, works you know it works it, it works very very well.